Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome back to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Tales of Magi All. We are the Dwarven Berserker. We are playing on a Throwback Thursdays, though it's probably not going to... I'm, I'm been, I've been behind this. I've been behind for weeks. Let's let's just call it what it is. So everything is off kilter, but it's still the plan, the idea, the concept is there. Maybe one day I'll actually be ahead enough for it to be a thing for realsies. But Throwback Thursdays. Throwback Thursdays on Friday or Saturday. Fun times. All right, I think we did most of our buying and or selling at this point. There's a few things that we still have, but yeah, no, most of it's pretty much done. Let's go here and sell this stuff off. Now let's head back out and do some more murder. I don't know that there's anything else that we really need to do at this point, so let's get out of here. Shall we? All right, we are level nine now. We have cleared that place out. We went in there, we played around inside the troll mire. I don't remember if there was more to do in the troll mire. There's a level 7 place, another level 7 place. A gate into the maze. I guess we're gonna go there. It's a weird mage guy. Does he want to talk to me? He does! Before you stands a young man, a novice mage by his looks. Good day to you, fellow tra traveler! What brings you, an apprentice mage out into the wilds? Ah, my story is a sad one. I should not trouble you with it, my friend. Ah, it is no trouble at all. Please tell me. Well, if you insist, I am a novice mage, as you might have noticed, and my goal is to be accepted by the people of Algo and Golwyn, and to be taught the secrets of the arcane. We're the people of Angolwyn. Ang Angolwyn? I, I got nothing. The keepers of our... Uh, um, I, I do not think I'm supposed to talk about them. Sorry, my friend. In any case, I must collect many items. I have some already, but I am still looking for an arcane-infused artifact. You do not happen to have one, do you? I imagine... Well, if you do, please tell me. I will keep that in mind. All right. Ragnar is lost. What is this? In the kingdom of Rechnor, when you arrived, you found nothing but orcs. Well, I'm gonna have a soul survivor besides you. Must hurry back to the council bring them news. So that one's done. We failed one, and we haven't done any of the others. That's fine. Not in any rush. Let's uh, let's go about our business, and let's do some moitering. We'll head ourselves on in and go and get some killing on. All right, there's a little bit of killing. Killing and chilling like a villain with Bob Dylan. That's fine. Hello, War Axe of Doom. Join me. Oh, there's a mystical thing over there. Let's slaughter it. Well, I gotta say, we are a little bit stronger than most of the things in this area. Let's finish you off. I suppose we could kill you as well. Slaughtering the ant. A lot of stuff is like off the screen hitting us. It's kind of annoying and weird. What is that thing? A sand drake, a level 12 elite. It's only got 70 HP though. We should be able to, yeah, should be able to own it. And we did, what is that? That is a totem. That is a thingy. Uh oh. That's not good. Aha! We were fighting a Minotaur who apparently slapped us pretty hard there. It was not enjoyable. Apparently, we are all sorts of messed up, but we fixed it. Our stunning blow was amazing, to be sure. There's another one there. Who seems equally as perturbed as he once was. Let's do that. There we go, we can see again. My eyes are so blurry, I don't know what is happening. Man, where are all these Minotaur coming? Oh. That is not a Minotaur, that is something else entirely. Oh, we're asleep and can't move. Well, that's not good. Are we gonna wake up at some point? There we go, we're awake. All right, down you go. The Minotaur is here. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's do this. There's a shield. 
Well, that doesn't seem super good for me. Uh, looks like we can go and do some damage, and we defeated whatever that nasty snake monster was. That was actually quite the challenge, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, the Eye of the Dreaming One. This ethereal eye stares eternally as of seeing things that do not truly exist. Let's go into the inventory. A pouch of dwarven steel shots, a coal walker. Huh, nice. Guess we'll take that, and we'll take the Eye of the Dreaming One. What is the Eye of the Dreaming One? Is that a shield? Uh, infused by psionic forces. It's a tool. Uh, changes stats to plus 5 willpower, 10 to mental save, 5 to mind power. The wearer is asleep. A lucid dreamer. This item allows the wearer to act while sleeping. Huh. It can be used to activate talent sleep. Huh. Interesting. Oh, that's cool. We have a sleeping mirror, I guess. Yes, I would like to... Oh. Everybody die. No? Well, you die, maybe. That's fine. I'll just kill everything. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. You know, some poison and whatnot. That's fine. I will open it. What do we have here? Many things. Many, many things. What's going on? There's a... Oh. Oh. There's a jelly. Let's go slaughter the jelly. Oh, there's a shielded minotaur over here. He seems to be upset with us for some reason. Maybe because we killed all of his other minotaur brethren. I don't know. Who can say? Please stop hitting me. I do not enjoy it. Aha! There's a blue slime. It's dead and they dropped a dagger. There's a random chest piece. Ooh, hello. This is what? Storm Drake Hatchlings. Alright, let's step forward and hit you, you, you. Kill you, take you out, and there it is. We'll rest. We'll dodge the blobby, slimy thing coming our way. Drop you. Killing off the red slims. And I guess we finish you off. Almost done with this area. All right, we have the Linen Cloak of Shaloran. What does the Linen Cloak of Shaloran do? Oh, Linen Cloak. Gives us one defense and changes our stats to two, plus two to willpower and two to magic. Here we lose 31 maximum life. I feel like we need the life more than willpower and magic right now. And possibly for all time. I don't, I don't know. I don't fancy us being very... Very good with the magics. Just saying. Oh, there's a thief. Hello, thief. Get the free action, why don't you? Well, I will say that this place is relatively large overall, but not overwhelmingly difficult. You know, there's a little bit of difficulty here for sure, but eh. Seriously. Stop attacking me things. What was that? That is Belly Gamari, Gamira, the White Jelly. 202 hit points. This could be a problem. Or it could be totally fine, and we just killed him in two shots, because of course we did. We're amazing. Just killing bosses in two shots like they don't matter. It's because they don't matter. It's because they don't matter. Alright, take you out. There was a lantern over here that we didn't pick up. We should probably pick up anything and everything that we can. Including, but not limited to, that axe. Alright, so we're about to the end of this area. Alright, Diary, the maze. Dear Diary, lessons are off this week as my tutor has fallen ill. So I've decided to sneak out and have a wander around the old mazed ruins nearby. I know I'll get in trouble if I'm caught, but as long as I'm back in a couple of days, no one will notice. Besides, I get so bored cooped up in those mountains. I want some fun. This is a rather dirty place, though. I've come across a few bandits and snakes in here, but nothing to threaten a grade 3 mage like me. I remember hearing that this labyrinth used to be a prison used by the halfling king Rupa during the Age of Dusk. 
and that, with the lawlessness of the time, captives were simply sent here to rot. Some say a magical curse infected the place and turned them into bull-like monsters that patrol the halls to this day. How exciting! Those are known as Minotaur. Or Minotaur, huh? We can go on a minor tour. Eh, 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 no, nothing. I feel like we just took a tremendously huge amount of damage from not even sure what. Eh, well, whatever. Hey, there's a ring of some sort. I'm blind. And he's dead. Blind and dead. Alright, let's go with you getting hit. Yeah, this is... I'm pretty sure we're strong enough to deal with these guys without really struggling much. He's dead. Come on, thiefy thief. There's something there. Oh, we're encumbered. Alrighty! What do we have that's making us so heavy? I feel like we're still just so much weaker than we should be. Alright, let's drop the lantern. Let's drop the war axe, the ash star staff, mage staff, and the steel dagger. And then we shall continue! Oh, we have a green jelly this time. Also impressive. Also pretty strong. I have to say, I have not been able to actually do any damage to him yet. Or at least not much. There we go, now we're doing damage. Alright, he's dead. I feel better now. Down you go, fool. Is that it? That's it. We go to the next level, I guess. Sweet. We're almost level 10 as well. I believe we get another category point once we hit 10. It's been a while. I'm not entirely certain that's true, but I think it is. Oh, you are the Minotaur of the Labyrinth with a whole heaping heck of a lot of stuff. That's actually terrifying, friend. Okay, well, I guess I'll step forward and do this. And then do that. Which was okay. Now we're going to do this. Just hoping we can cure that. Okay, we're kind of doing some okay work. I feel like we're going toe-to-toe -to -toe and we're winning right now. Eh, it's a slow build, but we are winning. I'm going to go with Berserk here. And we did it! Quest into the darkness! Alright, let's see, what do we get here? Quest into the darkness... I don't, oh, Into the Darkness, there it is. Alright, you... Uh, it is time to explore some new places. Dark, forgotten, dangerous ones. The old forest is just south and east of the town of Dearth. The maze is west of Dearth. The sandworm lair is far west of Dearth, near the sea. And the Dakara is on the eastern borders of the Thaloran Forest. Well, we've done one of four that we must explore. Cool. And we hit level 10. Like a boss... This blue robe flows and ripples as if pushed by an invisible tide. Nice. And cores fall. Made from the bones of many creatures, this staff glows with power. You can feel its evil presence even from a distance. Well, that's not good. Or is it? Alright, we got another diary maze page. I'm having so much fun. Probably travel is making this little trip a breeze. Probability travel? Okay, maybe that's it. And you should have seen the look on that bandit's face when I came out one wall, disappeared through another, came around behind him. <laughs> I still remember Archmage Torellin's Tar lecture about the spell. Probability effects can be employed for ease of use, but beware, uh, but beware thee of relying on them. With ease of use comes ease of mind and a weakening of one's will and concentration. Soon one will find itself in a situation of risk bereft of normal judgment of danger, and low on the mental resources to save oneself. Heed thee well. Bah, what tosh. How dumb does he think I am? Besides, I'm really enjoying myself. I'm having an adventure. I saw something. I don't know what it was, but it was big and shadowy. But when I tried chasing it, I, I got lost. Uh, maybe I just imagined it. No. 
No, I'm sure it must be something cool and exciting. I'll just have to keep exploring. Well, if you say so, friend. If you say so. Alright, so I think we should just grab all these things and then dump what we can't carry. Which you know is going to happen, but we can do that after we level because we're going to get some more strength, which will allow us to carry a bit more stuff. So it's going to work out. So we have another category point, and we can go to one of these other skills here if we really wanted to. Which we may or may not want to do. Superiority. Uh, talent, category, blah, 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 blah. Alright, uh, no. So do I have to click on it? Oh, it tells us down there. Okay. Advanced combat techniques. I don't want shield defense or archery. War cries. Master war cries to improve yourself and weaken others. Bloodthirst. Delight in the act of battle and spilling blood. And finally, cunning. Teach various ways to cripple your foes. What does bloodthirst show us? Let's see. Oh, did I... Did I actually do this one? Oh, I think I actually... Well, I guess I'm going with superiority. I mean, I could just do this. No, I could do that and come back in. And that's what I am going to do, by the way. Uh, I'd like to see what's on offer here. Alright, it's a passive talent. Your mighty blows inspire utter terror on your foes. Any melee strike that you deal to does more than 43% 43% of the total life puts them in mortal terror, dazing them for 5 turns. Your critical strike chance also is increased by 3%. That's pretty legit. What else we got? Another passive delight in spilling the blood of your foes. After scoring a critical hit, your maximum hit points will be increased by 2%. Your life regeneration by 1.95 per turn and your stamina regeneration by 0.39 per 6 turns. Uh, the life and stamina, or sorry, per turn, four, six turns. The life and stamina regeneration will stack up to five times for a maximum of 9.9 .9 and 1.95. Huh. That seems a little underwhelming, but not necessarily terrible. Bloody Butcher, you delight in inflicting wounds and uh, providing 14 physical power. In addition, when you make a creature bleed, its physical damage resistance is reduced. By 12%, but never below t zero. Huh. Neat. And finally, unstoppable. This is a non-passive ability. It's activated. Uh, instantaneous weapon, 100% of a turn. You enter a battle frenzy for three turns. During that time, you cannot use items. Healing has no effect, and your health cannot drop below one. At the end of the frenzy, you gain 4% of your health per foe slain during the frenzy. With unstoppable is active, uh, Berserker Rage critical bonus is disabled as you lose the thrill of the risk of death. Huh. Seems legit, not necessarily what we're after, but it seems okay. Juggernaut, it's an instantaneous skill. Concentrate on the battle, ignoring some of the damage you take. Improves physical damage reduction by 17% and provides a 9% chance to shrug off critical damage for 20 turns. Onslaught, this is another uh, sustained mode. This is activated, so this is sustained. Take an offensive stance as you walk through your foes. You knock them back, them all back in a frontal arc up to one grid. Huh. Weird. Uh, you know what? We're going with Bloodthirst. It's what I choose. And we're going to put one of our points into it right now. Gives us a 3% higher critical strike chance. That's pretty legit in and of itself. So that is why I choose to use that one. What is this here? Shattering Blow hits the target with your weapon, doing a bunch of damage. If the attack hits the target, hits the target's armor and saves are reduced by... Oh, that's pretty good. An armor reduction skill? Absolutely. Okay, I think we're good to go. I accept these changes. We are still encumbered. But that's okay. A warrior's Steel Ring. It gives us armor and gives us some stats. So let's put that bad boy on. And we're still slightly encumbered, but only slightly at this point. The Flaming Iron Battle Axe. Not really what I'm after. There's nothing that we have that's super heavy. I guess we're going to drop it. Like, we have a few things that are pretty heavy. Like the Yeah, but some of these are better than others. We'll drop that. Insidious Iron... We'll drop some of the leather, too. Alright, let's come down here and loot the chest. Oh, noes! 
And they all died in one hit because I'm amazing. Because I am truly an amazing, amazing individual. Why do we keep stopping here? Aha! How dare you strike at me, fool! Do you know who I am? Wow, we're getting all sorts of crazy stuff. Oh, hello! All sorts of crazy stuff here. Yeah, let's open the chest. Uh-oh. Okay, so we're up against two boss-like creatures. Let's hit you. Let's do this. Let's be very, very sad that we're as hurt as we are. Oh my gosh, this is going so poorly right now. I think we're going to end up dying here. I'm not really positive what's going on. Oh, we killed him. Alright, so with him dead, I like our chances a bit better. I think we've tried to focus on the wrong guy there. And that was almost our death. Alright, let's snag up those things. Let's grab this. Oh, we're encumbered again. Shocking, to be sure. Alright, let's get rid of you. Drop that. Let's see, what else do we have? Uh, Copper Amulet of Constitution. We'll put that on. Uh, we'll drop the white arrow thing. Another quiver is pretty heavy. Cured leather armor of cold resist. Not really our deal there. What's this? Ah, letter to Weissman. Dearest Weissman, sorry to cut your bird watching session short, but I must bring this, uh, what is this? This is a badinage to an end, alright? I have tolerated your ridiculous pomposity and false heroics long enough. At first, I'd look, I took over your in, overinflated tales of bothering local wildlife with good humor, but now I realize with dread that you are sincere. You believe your pathetic wanderings to be the stuff of legend. Well, no more. We shall meet seven days from now in Dirth's town square. Come prepared for travel. A number of rumors claiming that a monster has taken up residence within the ruins just north of town have grown to the point where they cannot be considered rumors anymore. You shall come with me, face this creature alongside me, and experience intimately the vast difference between your skills and my own. If we're lucky, you will learn this lesson unscathed, but I fear that such a trial may cost you a limb or two. Prepare yourself, if you've the courage. Rolf. Well, that's the thing that happened. Oh, I still have Berserker on. That might have been one of the problems we were faced with there. I thought I turned that off already. Like, I had intended to do that, but, you know... Best intentions and laid plans and all that stuff. Meh. Alright. Oh, that's a circle a circle that brings us back to the surface, huh? Stop bringing me to those things. Alright. Well, I guess we're going to head back to the surface then. And maybe we'll go back to town once more and sell some of our junk. And that's another adventure down. We only gained, what, another level, level and a half, something along those lines. But you know what? That's okay. That is totally okay. Alright, I'm going to get rid of a lot of this stuff. In hopes that it's going to be okay. And I do apologize, ladies and gentlemen. I know my chair is squeaking and I'm sorry for it, but it is simply what it is. There's not much I can do about it. We're going to sell that. Sell that, sell that. Lots of selling, basically. The Ash Staff we have no use for. Now, what is this thing? This is a Staff too, right? It's a Staff. Well, that's going to get sold as well. Well, we're getting a decent supply of gold for once, which isn't bad. So many staves! Now, this is a War Axe. This is a one-handed one. Brand Rest the Iron Greatsword. What? That's not what I had. I don't even know what I had selected there. That was weird. This is a one-handed weapon. Don't want it. Don't want it at all. The silk current. Uh, it's not... Well, I mean, it's... Eh. 
It's okay, I'm gonna sell it anyway. Why? Because I can. That, that's literally the only reason. Uh, nope. Get rid of your woolen armor. I don't want it. Iron helmet. Now this might be okay. Um, same thing, same thing. Slows global speed by 15%. Uh, changes, oops, sorry, changes stats, plus three to strength. I lose two constitution. I gain some fire resist and nature resist. I lose some cold resist. I get some fire penetration and fire damage. I think I might use that one. Sell some more of our stuff. It's gonna be okay. Again, I don't know if we need gems for anything, but for now, they are vendor food. And hopefully that is all good in the hood. Don't need any dwarven steel shots. Uh, supercharged ash totem. Nope. I don't need a wand. A citrine or a zircon. I need none of these things. And I need all of these things. Alright, the hat goes on. And we will sell the old hat. That is not the hat. Where's the hat? There's the hat. We shall sell it, and that's going to do it for this episode, folks. I know we didn't get a lot accomplished, but we survived another, like, adventure and more spelunking. We gained, I think we were eight. We gained nine, ten, and over halfway, almost three-quarters of the way to the next level as well. So we're getting closer to level 11. Anyway, folks, I hope that's okay for all of you guys, and I will see you in the very next episode. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will... See you later. <laughs>